Okay guys and gals, we're at a closed down family video. Did y'all used to go there? I know we went there quite a bit as a family. Um, rented video games, movies, but family video was the last big chain, video chain store, rental store. It uh, outlasted Blockbuster. There was, uh, there was there, I believe there was over 500 stores just a couple of years ago. But the pandemic really did, did, did really kill this business, this company. We're going to take a look, see if there's, uh, see if we can see inside. This is still lit up. This was a, actually a really good looking setup. Pretty much all the family videos had this big light in front of it. I guess it was supposed to look like an old movie theater. I think this one's been closed down a few months. And there's the family video sign. Green and orange. It's hard to believe it's gone. It, it's all gone. It's, it truly is the end of an era. Written on the window here, it says, yes, we're open. Which obviously they're not. We're gonna see if we can get, maybe get a look in from this side. Barely make anything out in the reflection here. Kind of just seeing me, but if you look really hard, you can see the inside. Or all the rows of uh, DVDs and Blu-rays. You know, once upon a time, even VHS tapes. Now, let's see if there's a window over here on the side that maybe we can better get a better look at it. There's two really big windows here. Okay, that's a little better. Mainly you're just seeing the reflection of the parking lot. You know, in a lot of ways, it's hard to believe that this was open so long. And they would make these, uh, have these buildings built, especially for them, because they all had the same look. So they weren't just taking over old blockbusters or Hollywood videos, things like that. They were actually, had their own design, and they were uh, trying to make it all look alike. We're at the back of the building. Here, which would have been Sweet 300. Nothing really back here. You know, as the prices went down on actually owning movies, I mean, I think about how much money I've spent on rentals. There was a, one of my kids would always rent one of these Ash uh, Evil Dead games on PS2. And he rented it so many times, I know I could have bought it. But, it was like every Friday, he wants to go see, he wants to go see if it was available to rent. And he'd rent it. He had a blast playing that game. And my daughters, they you know rent their movies and they'd rent some games too, especially my youngest. She was still in the games. But it's all gone now. I really do miss those times kids being excited you know long week of school for them going out and running something these places would be packed it was a good experience you know you'd see somebody looking at a movie you know you'd give them your opinion on it whether they asked for it or not usually pretty fun conversation but uh, those were good times you know of course now everything's streaming which is very convenient I do it all the time too you know, I'm nostalgia for this stuff, but I, part of the reason a lot of this stuff didn't last because I, I quit coming out too. You know, just like everybody else. And now, you know, it's gone. But as I've gotten older, 
you know, I do try to support local businesses, you know, even if I got to pay a little more, you know, I try not to get everything, you know, offline. You want to really appreciate some things, you know, things come and go in our lives and, you know, once they're gone, they're gone. So try to live in the moment, try to appreciate the good times while you have them. You know, the good old days could be happening right now and you, you just got to realize it. Just, just make the, the most of things. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave this family video behind and uh, get on home. I really appreciate you guys coming out seeing with us. And uh, I will see you on down the line.